Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this RPG Maker AMV tutorial, I'm going to show you a few of the custom states that I've created, and maybe you'll see one that you like, and you'll want to put it into your game. So, most of these are going to be, uh, well, most of the beginning ones you've probably seen already, and they've been overused in tons of games, like Sleep, Confusion, Silence, and Perilous, so we're going to skip past some of those, you know, your typical regen, and MP regen, and TP regen, and all that. I'm going to keep scrolling down until we see some uh, some unique ones. A lot of you have already made states like this. Burning, which is simple, simple like a, a poison effect type thing. Um, a frozen. Let's see, I don't know if you guys have used uh, this one yet. Some, I'm sure some of you have. Like a frozen uh, state. This is going to reduce your evasion by 10% and your magic evasion by 10%. Not a huge debuff, but it's going to be a buff that's uh, issued with damage on another spell so you could use this as state. Um, these four states, some of them are in the default for VXA so we're going to skip past the force ones. <clears throat> Bleeding is just like a uh, poison, another poison. Um, how about this one, aware? So this is going to give a little bit of counter attack, it's going to give a little bit of attack speed, a 10% agility uh, boost, uh, immune to sleep, and immune to petrified. Um, you could opt. You can. Uh, it's an optional to get rid of that petrified. Well, actually, this whole thing is optional. Of course, this is a template that you're going to use to make these states better. Just to give you a few ideas. Um, dizzy state. Um, reduce agility by 10%. Reduce uh, evasion rate by 5%. How about a soaked state? So it reduces your magic defense by 10% and your magic evasion by 3%. We'll just keep going down here. Chilled state. Reduce your attack. Most of these uh, first ones uh, are minor debuffs that reduce uh, a certain parameter and then do another minor thing. <clears throat> and most of these will be removed at the end of battle and a slight chance for them to wear off when the user takes damage. So this is a minus 10% attack rate, minus 3% hit rate. Um, here's momentum. It's going to increase your TP charge rate by 50% and add it. 3% TP regeneration, so that's going to give you uh, the ability to use a lot more of your TP moves. I kind of like this one, I mean, this momentum one. Also, it seems a little strong. 12 turns. <clears throat> Prone, reduce your defense by 10%, evasion rate by 3%. <coughs> Bushido, I like this one. Same thing, basically, as momentum, just a few little different things. You got a 50% uh, increased TP charge rate. And the charge rate is how much you, how much TP you gain from attacking and receiving damage. Um, regeneration be each turn you would just get it, uh, but this Bushido would give you a uh, two percent counter attack, semi counter attack. It's like uh, <clears throat> instead of giving you a one hundred percent chance and it wears off after one turn, it lasts for three turns, but it'll give you a fifty percent chance to counter attack. Blaze Spikes, oh, that was one I was going to make, but I couldn't figure out how to do it. Maybe you guys can tell me how to make Blaze Spikes. If you played Final Fantasy XI or other Final Fantasy games, Blaze Spikes is supposed to uh, be like an immolation effect that would, when you receive damage, if it was a physical damage or, or like a touch spell, um, you have like an aura of fire around you, so whatever comes into contact with you would take fire damage. So maybe one of you can tell me how to make that state. That would be awesome. Uh, Mulligan, this is the state that increases your evasion rate by 10%, reduces the chance of you being targeted, so your aggro by reduces that by 10%. The small attack, <clears throat> attack speed boost, 5, that's actually like nothing almost. Uh, and then a party ability, this is going to cancel all surprise attacks. This was uh, actually a passive state that I put on the gambler. I think I've showed this next one off, the virus. Um, it's a really, really strong poison doesn't last super long, three to five turns, but that could still take a ton of damage. Petrified, it's going to basically put them in a sleep motion, but it, it sets them, uh, so it's like a paralyzed effect, but it increases their defense and their magic defense since they've been solidified, so they've got like a little bit of, they're going to take less damage, but they can't move. And uh, as you can see, there's no removal condition, so you have to use something to, like a soft or, you know, some item or skill that would remove petrify so it's like a super super long uh, uh, stun or par paralysis a loyalist state I mean I have a ton we probably won't go through all of them but some of these in the middle I like a lot um, the loyalist has a double the target rate so this would be like your tank passive 
<clears throat> and it resists hide. I don't know if you need that or not. Probably don't. Um, one percent more evasion. Slight, slight, uh, slight little buff there. Uh, ninety percent chance or ninety ninety percent damage uh, towards physical. So you take ten percent less physical damage. It increases uh, guard effects by fifty percent. So this is actually a huge buff. This one right here for a tank. Shocked state. It's like the opposite of TP regen, so you lose TP each turn. Um, gold finder. I, I made a lot of these states for items that you can use to enchant with, like orbs and whatnot. So you can find an orb of gold finding and uh, put that on a piece of gear. So this would double your gold rate. It's kind of cool that you could put that on a state. Same thing with item finder. <clears throat> and then you can uh, make states that make you immune to certain things like this is a poison virus immune, blind silence immune, and you can just, for every state you make, you can make a state that resists that state, so that's kind of cool. You can make a state that uh, gives more more than one type of regen, of course, just add those up there. I made these a slightly, uh, I made these slightly uh, weaker than like the individual, so HP regen would be like 10%, but then the three, uh, three and one regen is a little bit weaker of each one extra swing that's kind of a cool state to have um, I just noticed I have two of these attack times plus one and then down here I made another one X attack yep we got two states that do exactly the same thing that's uh, not helpful <laughs> uh, half MP cost you can make a state that reduces the cost and then you can set that to 10% 25% whatever you like this is uh, these next ones are pretty cool um, so we get down to Malboro state poison attacks uh, Every attack has a chance to inflict uh, another state, so you can make a state that makes your attacks inflict states. It's pretty crazy. The same thing with burning attack. Double action times. This doesn't work with CTB or ATVs that I've noticed in the way that I've used that I've been uh, I've been trying to use it. But in uh, default battle system, double action works perfectly fine. So you can increase your action times with a state. Um, you can do this with uh, the HP limit. You don't actually need a state to do this. I just put it on a state because I don't know why. 10% um, experience. You can make this an item that gives more experience. The so same thing there, but you can also add it to a state. So here's a, a unique one that I really like. You can make a state that has a 5% chance to inflict um, a bunch of different states. So when you attack uh, while you're under this state, you can inflict all of these states to your enemy or your target. But it's only 5% chance, but when you have so many of them, any of them can proc on your strike. So it's kind of cool because you don't know if you're going to stun your target or if you're going to make your target dizzy when you hit him or if you're going to confuse your target or poison him. Really awesome state. I recommend trying something like this Malboro strike. If, any, if you have to pick one of these states, do something like this for, uh, for, for one of your states. It's really awesome Malboro strike. Provoke. Basically, you're going to use uh, Yan Fly's uh, Provoke taunt script, not provoke, he calls it taunt, and so you would just use no tag to do like a provoke or a magical taunt or a um, certain attack taunt, you use no tag, and then you specify how long you want it to last, or you can combine them all, set them all, all three no tags in one. Curse state, really a uh, simple state here, this is going to increase the damage they take from a certain element, and you can make a, a curse state for every type, <coughs> excuse me, every element type you have, and you can even have multiple states for um, the strength, like you could have a curse state that deals three times or four times or ten times the damage from each state. So you can really go crazy with a bunch of states right there. Uh, Dwindle, this is a state that's going to decrease all of their stats. I made this same state in another game, but I called it disease. So it basically just reduces all their stats by 10%, or all parameters rather. But uh, you can call it whatever you want, Dwindle or disease or something like that. This is a, another four state that you can uh, basically increase uh, certain stats and charge rates. This was for a tutorial, Crystal Strength, and someone was trying to figure out how to make stronger buffs, and this was a, a buff that was applied by using an item, basically just increasing attack. Uh, Runic Blade, this is using a, a magical taunt, but it's also used in a, one of Yanfly's videos. He shows us how to recreate the Final Fantasy VI, or on SNES, it's Final Fantasy III. Um, Celeste's Runic Blade, and uh, I jumped on that. That's a really awesome uh, tutorial. Go watch that. Um, Venom, which is uh, a state that I, I'm using the damage for to metastasize into uh, 
the virus state so venom will be applied and whenever that uh, H whenever their HP changes up or down venom turns into um, uh, your, you know what is it called virus haste state uh, increase your agility by 20% if you're using ATB or CTB then it's going to uh, give you more turns basically quick uh, same thing as another state increases action time stop this is basically um, a paralysis but with no traits at all it's just gonna last three or four turns and completely stop the enemy so if you're using ATB or whatever you'll just see their bar gray out re-raise you'll need a plugin for this the auto life plugin I can put a link in the description below where you can get that um, you just use uh, a note tag here auto life and the percent chance uh, this actually isn't a chance when you have a state you're going to be re-raised 100% of the time This percentage is actually referring to the amount of HP that you're going to come back with when you uh, are killed while under this state Fafnir boost this was for another tutorial I did on creating a, the Fafnir knight and this was the, the stat boost That was originally going to be a lot stronger, but since uh, I made the, the, the state wear off over a certain number of skill usage not actual attacks. I didn't want to make it too strong, even though it's a pretty strong buff. Roasted Rat, this is a state that's uh, inflicted by eating a, an item, a consumable item, that you would kill an, a rat and get his meat, cook it on a campfire, and then you'd get a buff that would last for the, the next battle. You, would, you could use it in battle or before battle, and then it would give you an experience boost and uh, extra HP. Same thing with the Bat Kebab, but this would give you um, higher experience boost and more agility. Royal Bird, same thing, but this time it gets giving 30% attack and defense. And uh, the thing about these two different ones is they don't remove it in a battle, they're going to last 50 turns. And uh, that'll persist through multiple battles and it'll just add up over time. So it'll, the battle, if the battle only goes on t for 10 rounds and the, you get in another battle, it doesn't reset. It'll, it'll kind of keep a, a counter in the background. So over five fights, it'll wear off. Spirit Leader, this is a, uh, I have a ton of these leader states, and when you uh, get one of these states, the rest of them will wear off, so you can only have one of these leader states on at a time. But basically, they'll do some sort of extra parameter, and then like a stat boost. So this is a 20% defense and regen, this is 20% attack and DP regen, uh, this one's 20% agility and poison immunity. Um, basically, you can make a, a bunch of these. Aggressor state. Um, I call it an uh, offensive stance and defensive stance in another uh, in another game. If you guys are watching my um, Let's Make a Game series, you guys know this as, as offensive stance. But it's a little bit different on the stats. This is going to give you 50% uh, extra attack, but reduce your defense and magic defense by 20%. Also made it toggleable using one of Himi Works' plugins. Uh, another leader state. I'll just uh, go down you guys can check them out. Studied state, this was uh, how I handled blue mages before Yanfly gave us the code on how to do it correctly <laughs> or how to do it where you're controlling more than one blue mage. So this has been uh, basically defunct or debunked, no, yeah, defunct in my game. Trance, this is a state that is uh, currently in the works. It's going to replicate the Final Fantasy IX trance. You can see it's giving a 20% to all stat boost, uh, and it's giving you two additional swings, uh, as well as a little bit of attack speed. But uh, this, I still don't have the tutorial set up the way I want it, because uh, in Final Fantasy IX, you would get trance, and you were forced into it. Like, so when your trance bar filled up, you just automatically went into trance. So I don't want that to happen. I want it to be triggered by the players. So you can kind of like use it as a limit limit break sort of. So we'll all do something with that later on. Invisible state. Um, this was also going to be uh, used in another script that's going to change your icon or, or your battler rather. So it makes you look transparent. But it's basically adding traits as well. It's going to give you 50% evasion, 50% magic evasion for three turns straight. Uh, where werewolf form is, is working on for another tutorial. Chicken, that's for another tutorial. Um, actually, I think this, I don't even use this. I just ended up going a different route, so I need to actually clear that one. This is another leader state. This one's giving a, instead of 20% to one stat, this is giving 10% to two stats and then an MP regen. Here's an interesting one, Bloom. This Bloom state is uh, used in tandem with another healing spell. So the healing spell will heal for a set amount, but if you're currently under the Bloom state, 
then that healing spell will uh, heal for twice as much. So this is basically like a healing modifier state as well as a mild regen. More leader stuff. Basically, if you're using one of the <coughs> elemental leader states like the Pyrofrost, Aquashock, Terra Arrow, you're going to be immune to that uh, appropriate um, element. So if you're an Aqua leader, your party's taking no damage from water attacks and they're getting that. 20% magic attack for all these, since they're all mages who have these element ones. These were all uh, states I was creating for um, a mix before Yantlai came out with a really cool uh, items, items consume, or skills consume items plugin. So these are all basically defunct right now. And uh, the emergency staff uh, state that I put out a video not too long ago, so <clears throat> you guys can check that out. But uh, that's going to do it. I just wanted to go over some of my states. I'll probably do another video where I talk about um, certain specific things I've done with armor and certain things, specific things I've done with weapons. But let me know if you guys like this sort of thing to see what I've been putting in my game and uh, just talking about uh, kind of different uh, ideas I've come up with for different weapons and how I use plugins. So let me know in the comments below if you like this sort of thing. If you do, remember to give it a thumbs up, like, favorite, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching these tutorials, and we will see you in the next tutorial.